Aquarius, welcome to your full moon reading for June 2023. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Add your energy to the mix. Hit that like and subscribe and let's get the party started. What is going on? Now full moons are usually about releasing what we need to let go of. Doesn't have to be, uh, but those are some major themes around full moons. And it's all about bringing something to light that we did not see before. Something is coming into our awareness. Hopefully this tarot reading helps with that. Let's see what's going on. What does Aquarius need to know, please? Spirit, ancestors, angels. Everybody of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Aquarius's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. Oh, there it is. Showing up with the High Priestess. Yes, listening to that intuition. We hope, right? Uh-oh, the Eight of Swords. This is confusion, mass confusion and stuck energy. Not knowing what to do. You can't see how to get out. You don't know what to do. You feel trapped. Hmm. And, oh, the hermit. Good deal. The hermit isolates from, the, from a situation. Removes themselves from a situation. Uh, perhaps even from everyone. Goes off on their own to isolate and shine the light in the dark to see what is in my way so I can remove it and progress here. It's also the deepest healing, deepest healing card in the entire tarot. And uh, it's interesting here, we don't see anybody's eyes. The hermit's eyes are closed, the high priestess eyes are closed, they're both going within. The eight of swords is just facing the other way, but even as the art is depicted in all the other decks, or most decks, they're blindfolded, so they're, they can't see either. So, but not by choice necessarily, although what they say of the Eight of Swords is you can get yourself out of that by changing what you're focusing on, changing what you're looking at, changing it, just changing your thoughts. You can get out of that trapped, stuck feeling. All right, the overall energy of your full moon reading, Aquarius. Ooh, nice. Ace of Swords, the opportunity for divine clarity and truth cutting through all the BS and getting to the truth and to clarity. Very nice. Yes, you do that. Going within, going within, changing our thoughts. This is all about the mind. This is all about the mind and deep healing. Connecting with our highest selves. Meditation, meditation, clarity. That's it. Reading's over. That's all you need to know. Go meditate. That'll solve it. <laughs> The reason that we're here, though, look what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Cups. This is loss and sorrow, regret, depression. Man, this card has been running rampant through the full moon readings. It's terrible. I don't like to see it, but it's what's here, and it seems to be a theme for sure. Lots of depressive type energies, losses and regrets, getting stuck on the past. Stuck energy, stuck energy. Okay, all right. Let's uh, go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to take a look at the Ace of Swords in the overall energy here. All right, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know about this Ace of Swords? Yeah. There it is. Queen of Swords pops out. Yes, Queen of Swords. She is all about making a declaration uh, stating what the requirements are, what the boundaries are, what the limitations are, what she expects. She definitely lays it down. Okay, and? Oh, the King of Cups. King of Cups is amazing at being calm in the midst of the storm. Very balanced emotions. Lots of love 
and just uh, balanced in, in, a, in a masterful way when it comes to the emotions. They feel everything very intently, intensely, not intently, intensely, uh, but you would never know it by how calm they, they are, how calm they respond. And the Queen of Cups, the perfect match to the King, I assure you they were not together. They were not together. Spirit just shuffled these cards and brought them together for your reading. So this is a perfect match. This is a couple. The King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. She comes with her heart wide open. She's quick to forgive. She's so positive and loving and nurturing and supportive and wonderful, wonderful, loving energy. Comes with her full love cup, as does the King. All right. So the king and the queen here, this perfect match, have some boundaries and limitations that need to be set and clarified. We need to get clear on them. And you would think that that would be easy, being that these people are so masterful with their, with their love and their behaviors. Um, but it's not, always, it's not always cut and dry like that, is it? Mm-mm. So, I don't know what's going on here. We could actually have three different people here. We, it may not be that, but it could be. With the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and then the King in the middle. Trying to get truth, trying to get clarity here. Let's see. Why are we here? Ooh, Ten of Cups. Blessings from above on the homestead. We're here because somebody that we live with and our family we they fill all of our love cups they make us so happy that's why we're here we're here to get clear to set some boundaries to get things straight to get to the truth all right we love each other there's a lot of love here it's family it's who we live with it's who we love and it's ten cups a king of cups and a queen of cups a mother and a father husband and a wife could be married all right beautiful beautiful energy let's take a look at the high priestess what is your intuition telling you your intuition is telling you to hold on this is the four of pentacles this is holding on tight not letting go of something but your intuition is telling you that. Don't let go. Hold on. The Three of Wands. Wait. Waiting. Waiting for your ship to come in. You can see it. You can see what you want. And now you're just waiting. Waiting, waiting for something outside of yourself to happen. And, oh, the Two of Wands more waiting this is contemplating the future long term there's a couple different paths you could take You're trying to contemplate if I take this path what would happen if I take the other path what might happen it's very long term thinking far out thinking far out waiting contemplating holding on that's what your intuition is telling you to stick around wait it out whatever the turmoil is here wait it out is what they're saying this this five of cups sorrow and disappointment wait it out wait through it hold on hold on through it because you know energy is always moving and uh nothing stays in the same energy forever so your intuition is guiding you hold on wait think long term in other words don't make any short-term decisions these are long-term decisions. The reason we're here, Five of Wands, because there's been fighting and conflict and arguing and battling and uh, there's just a lot of conflict going on. I don't see it over here, unless this is a third person, but I don't have anything else that's indicating that necessarily, so all right, something's going on that's conflicting. All right. All right. So things are bad. You're feeling like shit. 
but your intuition is telling you to hold on. Wait. Let's look at this Eight of Swords, this feeling of being stuck thinking thought after thought after thought that is not serving you. It's these thoughts. If you could change your thoughts, you might change your life. Get yourself out of this situation. Instead of focusing on the things that you see that you aren't liking, switch your focus to something that you like, things that you enjoy. That might help just lift the mood so that we can get some relief from this stuck energy over here. Trapped, stuck, bound. Trapped, definitely trapped. What's going on here? Eight of Swords. Oh shit, how many cards is that? There are no mistakes, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two more, wow. I always say it, there are no mistakes. We're taking them, you're getting, you're getting a story. Frequently, Spirit wants to explain something more, so we're going to go for it. All right. I hope it's not a disaster. <laughs> it never is, but just because I said that, it might be. Knock on wood. Six of Pentacles. Balance. Equanimity. Fairness. The Five of Pentacles. Feeling abandoned out in the cold. Balance is abandoned. Balance has been abandoned. Okay. The Knight of Swords wants to rush in and take some action. That's the feeling. Doesn't mean they are, it just means they want to, or you want to, somebody wants to. Six of Wands with the idea of being successful here. It's what's important. King of Pentacles. This is the master of the resources. This is somebody who might be a business owner or just manage the finances. Either way, whatever they manifest, they are really good at managing all of it. King of Pentacles. Karma. Judgment. You're being called higher than uh, you would normally respond. Let's say things... I'm just going to use an example. If things are going down the tubes let's say you're married and things are going down the tubes for whatever reason uh, things are out of balance somebody left somebody abandoned the relationship I don't know uh, just just go with me on this uh, and your first inclination would be you know what screw it I'm out of here kind of thing but your intuition is saying hold on wait contemplate the future long term and this is saying, rise above how you would normally respond. Rise above it. You're being called to your highest self to respond to this situation. And it looks like you are listening to you. This is your highest self. When you go into high priestess mode, closing your eyes, going within, meditation, connecting with your highest self, you are answering the call. Ten of Swords. There's a painful ending here. There's been a painful ending, or there might be a painful ending, or you're, you're thinking, ah, that's what this is. That's what spirit is showing us. Yeah, somebody moving on. They've already left uh, an old way of thinking, and they're heading someplace new, but they're not at their new destination yet. This looks like, as the Eight of Swords, um is thought after thought after thought. Each sword represents a different thought. This could just be your individual thoughts. I want to do something. I'm feeling abandoned. We don't have balance here. We're out of balance. We want equanimity. It's been abandoned. I want to take action, but I better wait. I don't know. I want to be successful here. I want to do the right thing. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, it could be you. It could be your person. But it, it represents somebody, again, who manages the assets, if you will. You're being called higher to respond from your highest self. Surrounding a painful ending that has happened. And somebody has left and moved on, but they're not completely gone. If this is you, you're not at your new destination yet. You're on this journey. And if this is your person, um, they have left, but they're not at their destination yet either. 
So, we've got two more cards to make room for here. The Wheel of Fortune. Major changes are happening. And, ooh, around an Ace of Cups. Around your love cup that is filled, that would definitely be filled between a King and a Queen of Cups. Um, where the joy, the happiness, the love is here in a very abundant way. But this is an opportunity for new love that is here. It's supported by the universe. It's a gift. You you want the wheel of the years, the wheel of fortune. That is major changes brought on by you, someone else, or fate. So there's major changes happening here in the midst. And it has to do with this Ace of Cups. An oper a new opportunity for love. Okay. So that does tell quite the story. Uh, why you're holding on so tight. What you're waiting for. What you're contemplating long term. Um, is a possible new opportunity for love. After, after some kind of painful ending. Uh, trying to leave an old way of thinking. You're trying to leave an old way of thinking. An old way of thinking may be to just wash your hands of it. But you're trying to leave that. You're going into your heart space and connecting with your highest self. Answering the call. Answering the call. Finances may have been an issue with this out of balance. Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles showing up. It may, be, may have something to do with assets just really um, sort of being just out of balance here. Lots of loss. And it's an emotional loss with the Five of Cups and a physical loss with the Five of Pentacles. All right. The reason we're here, the reason for this story... There it is, justice. You want to make things right. You want to bring in the balance. You would like to fix this. That's why you're holding off. You're not sure that you can is the feeling I get. You're not sure if it's salvageable. But you want truth and clarity. And going within, going within, that's the way to get it. So that's good. And figuring out what your boundaries and limitations are and setting them, declaring them, saying to your person, this is what I need, this is what I expect, this is what I require. I love you, I love you. You both love each other. But there's something that happened that got way out of balance, caused a whole bunch of confusion and stuck energy. And... Um, you're trying to stick it out for another chance. Another chance at love. You're trying to change a way of thinking, an old way of thinking. Rise above it. Because you're thinking long term. Because love like King of Cups, Queen of Cups, I'm going to tell you right now, does not come around often. Often, for some people, never. Never. And for others, certainly once in a lifetime kind of thing. So hold on, wait, contemplate, go within, rise above, and heal. We're going to clarify this card next. And this just shows me your intent, why we're here. Because you want to make things right. That's what justice does. Makes things right. All right. Let's move this over a little bit. Look at that. I did all of them. I palmed like 20 cards with one hand. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the hermit. Isolating from the situation, doing the deepest healing. Deepest healing card in the entire tarot is the hermit. Shining the light in the dark. Figuring out what is in our way and how can we fix it. Going within, going within, going within, and healing. Deep, deep healing. It takes time. This is not quick. This is not going for a quick meditation. This is, 
individual meditations, this is like long-term, deep healing. It takes time. Meditation over months and months or years, you know, sometimes. But, you know, worth it because then you get a, the rest of your lifetime in a healthy relationship with a perfect match. Perfect match. And all the love that you can even dream of is here. Working on getting that clarity. It looks like you got it. It looks like you got the clarity. You're not sure. You're feeling stuck. But you're telling me what you want. You're listening to your intuition. Justice wants to make things right. Bring in the balance. The Ace of Cups shows a new opportunity in love. So it looks like you are trying to turn the wheel yourself and move on from an old way of thinking. There's been a painful ending already. But I... It, it's not really ended because if it were ended all these cards wouldn't be here it's still here energetically for sure and there's a lot of love let's look at the hermit what does Aquarius need to oh, there we go need to know about the hermit Ooh, seven of wands protecting yourself guarding yourself blocking unwanted energy that's good. You got to go into isolation. You got to remove yourself from the situ situation. That means any energies coming at you, nagging you, or um, trying to coerce you to do something, or pressure you in any way, or argue, or any of that stuff. Keeping it at bay. Standing your ground. Followed by, ooh, the Eight of Swords. That's the same card right here in your baseline, right in the middle. There's that confusion. See, she's blindfolded. She's got her hands bound behind her, surrounded by all of these swords, these many, many thoughts that keep that mind tornado of confusion going. Yep, you gotta heal that, that's for sure. Deep healing is needed to combat that. Shining the light. death a transformation needs to happen this isn't death itself this is an ending to something and uh, something major some sort of ending but transforming it into something else so even though we have this painful ending here that's in alignment with that ten of swords right there a painful ending it's it, it was inevitable it was gonna happen it was faded however the transformation is what is the important part about this card at this point. Ending. Ending the Eight of Swords. Healing. Healing around the painful ending. Healing around the confusing thoughts and the stuck energy. Healing around the unwanted energies that come at you. Ooh, the Emperor the emperor likes to be in control the emperor is all about strategy and structure and um, being large and in charge controlling controlling the situation controlling uh, the situation so that you go into healing mode you have to be disciplined to do that you have to have structure to do that and strategy to do that because there's so many things that can pull us out of this isolated this much needed isolating deep deep healing shining the light in the dark doing the inner work so many things can pull us out of that so major control is needed so the emperor is good keeping in control so that you can stay in this state so that you can do the inner work the introspective work to figure it out to figure it out you might as well give it all the time in the world that you can to figure it out to get the clarity of how you can have a new opportunity at love between the king and the queen here whichever one you are male or female it doesn't matter it's just showing it's it's you and your person are a perfect match and if you can overcome and get through all of the
crap that happened, whatever it was, that there's so much promise here for success. And so the reason for these clarifiers over here on the Hermit is the Eight of Cups. Because somebody walked away. That's what it looks like. We're here because somebody walked away. Somebody disconnected from their emotions. Somebody turned their back on love. They felt like they were being called someplace else. So they turned their back and they left. They walked away. I don't know if it was you or your person, but that's why we're here in, in these. I think it's your person that did it because you're over here showing me you're confused, confused, stuck, stuck, don't know what to do, can't see, feel stuck, feel bound. And even if you, even if your hands weren't tied, even if you weren't bound, and even if you, the blindfold weren't on, you'd still have all the swords around you, the thought after thought after thought after thought that is not serving you at all. It needs to end and transform into something else. And it's going to take a lot of control and strategy to do it. Self-control. Because otherwise our thoughts get in the way. Our emotions get in the way. And then and then all of a sudden we're not listening to our intuition. And we're pulled out of the, the, the deep healing and introspective mode. So it, it does take control to, to get into that and discipline. Yeah. All right, that's what it looks like here. Those are the energies that are here. Let's get an oracle card for you. And Spirit, please give Aquarius advice. So whatever Aquariuses are going through these energies in their relationship that is such a perfect match. I don't know what the heck happened. Somebody walked away caused all kinds of a painful ending, lots of confusion, lots of feeling out in the cold, abandoned, the stability got just wiped out. But there's 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 still love and there's still a good match if we can get through this. What advice do you have, please? What advice do you have from the Dreamweaver's Oracle? Right here, the Dreamweaver's Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. All right, what do we got? If the river flows this way, okay, let's see what it says. It'll have a little something here. It's card number four, and this is where the message is. The essential meaning, if the river flows this way, the importance of going with the flow, feeling the sense of being one with the currents of life, trusting you will never drown, as your destiny wants you to go this way. Go with the flow. The flow state is a way of surrendering and trusting the benevolent forces of life. It's surprising that we don't spend more time here as it's an amazing creative place to be, magical and peaceful yet brimming with potential. Flow is a state that's readily accessible through any activity that captures your effortless focus such as meditation, dancing, painting, or even taking a shower. Right now, you're being invited and guided to go with the flow, to allow the currents of life to move you forward. You don't need to struggle, to plan, or strategize, to resist, or push. This is not about effort. This magical river knows where it's going and where you fit into its plan. Allowing and surrendering is what's called for now. No matter if the water becomes choppy or feels like it's carrying you away, you will not drown. This is one of the most creative and life-enhancing times for you, and all you must do is allow. When your inspired ideas come to the surface, follow along. 
whatever is calling for your attention, immerse yourself in it and see where it takes you. If the river flows this way, go with the current, for only the highest good. Just keep doing what you've been doing, weaving your dreams and desires in a graceful rhythm and all will be well. Go with the flow. If the river flows this way, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. I hope it helps. I hope you feel validated and witnessed and that when you look at things from a bird's eye perspective, you can see that, hey, you're really going through it. Give yourself a break. Go with the flow. Listen to your intuition. Meditate. Close your eyes. Take all the time you need. And I don't know. It just seems like really good advice. This is a hard time, but it is a really good match that you have. And you're being offered clarity and you're being offered this river of flow and you're being offered a possible chance at, at a new opportunity with love with your perfect match so it's it's really a beautiful thing all right that's what we have on this full moon i started out <laughs> i started out at the full moon uh, hours ago with the beginning of the Zodiac readings and now it's daylight out. Dawn has arrived and it's time for me to go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Add your energy to the mix and I look forward to reading for you next time. Take care guys. <laughs>